Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center O and this uh, triangle ACE put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, segment uh, AB is 8 units. This angle uh, EAC is 45 degrees and this uh, ACE is 60 degrees and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, tiny red shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step i have uh, created uh, this auxiliary line uh, eb by connecting uh, this point e and uh, b and now let's recall the tails the theorem according to this theorem if uh, a b and e are uh, our three distinct point on the circle where the line a e is the diameter then this angle a b is a right uh, angle as you can see in this uh, diagram we got uh, a b and uh, e are our three distinct points and a e is the diameter then no wonder this angle uh, ABE is uh, 90 degrees uh, angle. Now let's make an observation uh, in this uh, right triangle uh, ABE. We know this angle is 45 degrees. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be 45 uh, degrees since the sum of all these three angles must be 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ABE is an isosceles uh, triangle since this is 45 degrees uh, and this is 45 degrees uh, as well. So therefore uh, this side length uh, AB is going to be equal to this side length uh, EB. So therefore uh, this uh, EB length uh, turns out to be 8 uh, units. And in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B. Now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, OB, this uh, OE and this uh, OA are the radii of this uh, semicircle. Let me label uh, this uh, radius as lowercase r then this is going to be lowercase r and this is lowercase r uh, as well. We also know that this uh, EB is equal to AB. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle EOB is uh, 90 degrees uh, angle and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EOB and we are going to apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call our longest leg uh, as our side uh, c I'm gonna call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is r so it's r square plus uh, r square as well equal to 8 uh, square now let's simplify r square and r square is going to give us 2r square equals to 64 and now let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, radius r so 2 and 2 is gone so r square turns out to be 32 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our radius r turns out to be equal to and we can see the square root of 32 if we simplify that one it turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 units so thus our radius uh, r turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 as you can see over here and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBC. We know that this angle is 60 degrees. Uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle uh, BEC is going to be 30 degrees. Since the sum of uh, angles uh, in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle uh, BEC turns out to be 30 degrees as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. Uh, we can see that this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees. So therefore this whole angle is going to be 45 plus 30 degrees is going to become 75 degrees. So therefore our this angle uh, OED turns out to be 75 degrees. 
and here's our next step i have uh, connected uh, this center o with this uh, point uh, d now we can see that this uh, o d is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle so let me call this radius as uh, lowercase uh, r and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangle uh, e o d is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, o e equals to this uh, side length uh, o d both of them uh, are radius uh, r so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, o d is going to be 4 times square root of 2 as well since in this uh, triangle uh, e o d both these sides are uh, congruent so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 75 degrees as well now let's make an observation we can see that this angle is 75 degrees this angle is uh, 75 degrees as well so therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be 30 degrees since the sum of uh, angles in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore our this uh, angle uh, EOD turns out to be 30 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, red shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole sector EOD minus the area of uh, this uh, triangle uh, EOD as you can see in this uh, equation so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, sector EOD and also the area of this uh, triangle uh, EOD and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, sector EOD and now let's recall the area of a sector formula area equals to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square and here in our case uh, this uh, 30 degrees is our angle uh, theta and our radius r is 4 times uh, square root of 2 so therefore the area of the sector EOD is going to be theta in our case is uh, 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi and our radius uh, r is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square and here we can see 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees uh, is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 12 and 4 times square root of 2 whole square is going to give us uh, 32 so therefore I can write uh, 32 pi divided by 12 and if we reduce this thing that is going to be equal to 8 pi divided by 3 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EOD and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, A times B times uh, sine of angle uh, C in our case uh, our these uh, side lengths uh, 4 times square root of 2 and 4 times square root of 2 are our A and B's and this angle 30 degrees is uh, our angle uh, C so therefore we can write uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, our side A is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 likewise uh, 4 times square root of 2 once uh, again times uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees and just keep in your mind that uh, sine of 30 degrees equals to 1 uh, divided by 2 and uh, 4 times square root of 2 times 4 times square root of 2 is going to give us uh, 32 so therefore I can write this thing as 1 divided by 2 times uh, 32 and then times uh, 1 divided by 2 as well and if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 8 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, red uh, shaded uh, region we already figured out uh, this uh, sector EOD area and this uh, triangle EOD area as well and here are our areas so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks over here so sector area is uh, 8 pi divided by 3 minus the triangle area is uh, 8 and if we simplify this thing this is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.38 
So thus the area of this uh, red shaded region uh, turns out to be approximately equal to 0 0.38 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.